Thank you, and thank you all for inviting us to uh, join you today. You know, I don't think they hear you up there when you say no cuts. I think you need to be louder. I think you need to be louder. No cuts. 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 You know, um, I don't. I, I've been in public life a long time, and I've seen some pretty egregious things. I've seen things happen to people that are wrong in so many ways. I'm not sure I have ever seen anything that is so wrong as this pension cut. I don't think. When, when I, I recently attended a meeting in my state where we had, oh, I bet you about 100, 150 um, Teamsters and otherwise affected folks come to the meeting from both sides of the river, from Minnesota and North Dakota. And the stories that I heard should chill anyone. The stories that I heard about families who believed they did the right thing, provided for their family, negotiated for their pension, said, we know that this work is hard. We know that this work won't last forever. We know when we're 70, we can't do this work. They won't let us do this work when we're 70, right? So we know we need security. We need the security of knowing that if you are grandparents, you can go help your kids take care of your grandchildren, right? Instead of having to go to work as a breeder in Walmart. That's what you're fighting for. You're fighting so you can be the grandparents that you bargained to be. You're fighting so that you can be the husband and the wife that you thought you could be and provide for your family. And you know what's happened? Through no fault of your own, that security, that opportunity has been pulled out from underneath you in a dramatic and painful way. We cannot let this stand. We cannot, because if you're, if you're the beginning, where does it end? Who loses their benefits next? You know, a lot of people want to talk about bargaining rights. You're always on the cutting edge of worker rights. And when they can take down the bargaining unit, when they can stop what you bargained for, what are they going to do to people who didn't have a contract? You know you're fighting for something so much more important and so much bigger than just this. You're fighting for human rights. You're fighting for what you've earned. And what is so wrong is when I had a, a gentleman come up to me, he's a, in his early 70s, he owns his home, had a little bit of a mortgage on his home, and he told me that if these cuts go into effect, he'll be homeless. He'll be homeless. He's going to lose his home. He's going to lose his, his boat that he fishes on with his grandkids. And he's going to lose his pride. Because when you don't have security, a whole lot more happens to you than just not being able to meet the monthly bills. A whole lot changes in your life. And so um, I know I know that uh, we're all here today to make sure that people hear these voices, to make sure people understand and they hear the hurt. But we're also here for the rest of the workers of America who have earned a pension, who can't have that pension taken away by legislation, by ineptitude of people who ran it to begin with, and by a secret deal cut in middle of the night, a secret deal, and a really strange voting pattern, right? Yeah, I mean, we cannot let this happen, and we need your help desperately. You know, I spend a lot of time with people who come in, they fly in, um, usually have a suit on, usually are, are wined and dined for three days by their national organization. You're here on your own dime. Yeah. But you're worried you won't have tomorrow. Right. And so I want to thank you. And I want to tell you, continue to tell your story. It is compelling and it will change the outcome. And never, ever give up. Because what has been done, never forget this can be undone. It can be undone tomorrow. Thank you for letting me come.